you obey, you will be safe. If you obey, you, be, you will be safe. Alter your course to uh, 360 degrees immediately. Over. A radio exchange apparently detailing what happened in the Strait of Hormuz on Friday. A British Navy officer from the frigate HMS Montrose tells the crew of the oil tanker Stena Impero that it's in a recognised international strait and must not be impeded. He then urges the Iranian Navy patrol boat, which ordered the tanker to change course, not to intervene. Please confirm that you are not intending to violate international law by unlawfully attempting to board the MV Stena but Iran's Revolutionary Guard soon arrived by helicopter and seized the tanker. Iranian maritime officers said on Sunday the vessel and its crew of 23 from India, Latvia, the Philippines and Russia are safe in the port of Bandar Abbas. We have already announced that if the ship or the crew members, if they have any needs, we are ready to meet them. However, there are some regulations and we should conduct a casualty investigation with regards to the vessel. The UK has written to the United Nations Security Council insisting the Stena Impero had been in the territorial waters of Oman and saying Iran had violated international law. The British government's calling it a hostile act, but it's wary of escalating tensions. We have seen, as I say, a ratcheting up in the last three weeks of events and tensions in the Straits of Hormuz and with Iran as a whole. We need to make sure that we thwart this, go back to the bigger picture of, of the relationship with Iran and make sure that we protect our international shipping. Taking to Twitter, Iran's Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif is accusing President Trump's security advisor John Bolton of, quote, turning his venom against the UK in hopes of dragging it into a quagmire. Well, I had a fairly long conversation with... Over the weekend, Britain's Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt phoned Zarif. He then said Tehran was implying it had retaliated for Britain helping to seize the Grace One tanker off Gibraltar. Britain insists that was legal because the Grace One was breaking EU sanctions by carrying oil to Syria. Hunt's expected to tell Parliament on Monday what diplomatic and economic measures Britain's planning in response to the latest incident. If his Conservative leadership rival Boris Johnson becomes Prime Minister in a few days' time, settling a major diplomatic dispute with Iran will be top of the to-do list. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.